An already effective ultrasound technology is getting a true boost. It's now using FDA approved artificial intelligence to help detect types of breast cancer faster and for some patients more efficiently. ABC 7 News reporter Stephanie Sierra shows us the experience being offered at San Francisco's Eve Wellness. What stage were you in? Stage 3. At age 38, Jenna Williams was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. She was in disbelief. There's just no way. I'm too young. This can't be possible. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to talk to. I After noticing the lump, she couldn't get an appointment with her doctor. So she tried Eve Wellness, an ultrasound imaging center in San Francisco that's using FDA-approved artificial intelligence. And within what period of time were you in the clinic? 12 hours. Within 12 hours, she got screened. Eight days later, she had her diagnosis. I was overwhelmed. Breast cancer will impact about one in eight women in the United States. Uh, one in four if you have a family history. Eve Wellness co-founder Brendan Foley says his clinic uses what's called an automated breast ultrasound machine. It's one of only three in San Francisco that scans several images on each side of the breast. You can see we're taking a square image. This is a reproducible image we're taking with the GBA bus. And with that, the scan will go across the breast. The AI scan uses a software that compares the images taken against roughly 200 million other breast scans. I tried it myself. Okay, I just want to verify that. Kirsten Taylor, the clinical imaging specialist, performed a risk assessment. This will assess your risk of breast cancer in your lifetime. We're going to be doing a total of six images. The screening began lying down. We're going to be adding quite a bit of gel just on this first one here. The scan costs about $350, takes about 20 minutes, with results back in 48 hours. Typically speaking, cancers do appear white on mammograms. So in all of these white areas, it's going to be a lot more difficult to identify if there's a cancer. We capture images right up in that armpit area. The clinic's physician says the AI software hasn't misdiagnosed any breast cancer since using it three years ago. The typical breast screening age is 40. Some women prefer ultrasound screening because it's free of radiation and there's no age restrictions or doctor referral needed. And for others, it may be more effective than traditional mammograms. A study by the National Cancer Institute found mammography is more likely to miss cancer among women with dense breast tissue. We've actually looked at this very carefully and this has been going on for a long time. So if you have dense breast tissue, it it does, you, it's hard to get sound waves or x-rays through the tissue. Dr. Laura Esserman is a surgeon and breast cancer oncologist at UCSF, where she is the director of the Breast Cancer Center. She says ultrasounds typically have high false positive rates, adding other options for women with dense breast tissue, especially if you're a mutation carrier, are contrast-based exams, like IV contrast mammography or an MRI because that allows you to look at how well vascularized, what the blood flow is to a tumor. And those, that's a much more sensitive exam. Esserman leads the wisdom study that compares annual mammograms versus personalized approaches to breast screening that's based on individual risk. The rates of breast cancer have been increasing um, in the United States as well. A recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found rates of early onset breast cancer has increased by nearly 4% among U.S. women from 2016 through 2019. And while women over 50 are at higher risk, this study found a rising trend of breast cancer among women under 40. Again, in young women, it isn't as common, but it's still common enough that you have to be aware and you can't have your head in the sand and think, oh, I'm not at risk. I'm a young woman and I don't have family history. Look at patients like Williams, no family history and diagnosed in her 30s. Coming here. Expedited my entire experience. It wound up to be like a very rare, very aggressive cancer. If I waited months for appointments in the hospital systems, it could have been even worse. After six months of chemo, we're happy to report she's now cancer free. Stephanie Sierra. ABC 7 News.